Well, hello, my friends. It is your very good friend, crypto-facing folks. I am fresh out of hibernation. <laughs> we still got uh, the eye crud, you know. I'm having my first sips of coffee. And uh, we're going to just go top to bottom or bottom to top, either which way over the charts. Haven't looked at them. I will say uh, I closed uh, our $5 million trade before I went to sleep. Thought about setting limit orders and stuff like that, but I was so tired. That I was, uh, I, man, I wanted, I thought about Shorten too. I, I, was, I just thought that there was no way it really goes up anymore. And, uh, man, if I switched that five mil short, I would have been up, we would have had another duber. I would have been up $200,000, but that's all right. And so we ended up taking uh, 49000 home realized. I guess we're down $759. I guess there's still 0.7 Bitcoin left in the trade. And so, uh, but I, you know, I keep a little bit there for record keeping. So to the pencil necks in the live chat who said I was going to close this trade in the red. You can kiss my pale white booty and kiss everybody else's that supports me. Mm. something else this year I don't recall ever been asked so much about a Black Friday special the Black Friday special officially starts on Black Friday and goes through Cyber Monday Cypher Monday we're gonna call it but I'm gonna give you guys a secret the graphics are not there now. They will appear on Black Friday. But the Black Friday deal is officially active. So, if you want to take advantage of it, it's 35% off. And you're going to use this code. It's one word. It's Black Cipher 35 All one word. That's B L A C K. C I P H E R 3 5 Black Cypher 35. Hopefully it works. Uh, so, this would be a good way to know if it doesn't work. So, again, if you want to take advantage of it, if you've been chomping at the bit, 35% off all options. Go knock yourself out. Appreciate your business. Welcome to the family. Uh, okay, so. Let us begin. Let's take a look at the charts, man. What a big fall it might be. We might be looking looking to eye along here, maybe, or something. All right, starting off on the two-week. Our yellow wave is coming down. Our momentum wave looks like she has been open. Is this going to be pinching off and then turning downwards? Or is it going to pinch off and maybe continue? That's something we're going to have to keep our eye on. On the weekly. Weekly, again, momentum pinching off. RSIs are coming closer together. Still green. Closer together. The VWAP wave looks slightly inverted. Uh, if it was... Again, outwardly curved, that would be more bearish if it's outwardly curved. This trading view makes me makes the line squiggly, but again, if it's inwardly curved, that's it's it makes a circle, right? It makes a circle. If it's outwardly curved, it makes it circle. So if it's inwardly curved, you imagine it curving back up. If it's outwardly curved, you imagine curving curving down some more. Uh, that's why we keep track of that. So Looks like it's slightly inwardly curved, but if you just want to make sure, you can get this little line tool. Go right there, go right there. It looks like there's still some space curving under that, but so there you go. All right, slightly inward curve. 
money flow in the green momentum potentially clipping off um okay let's enhance it mm. on the five day Ooh. momentum is clipped mm. the three day more of the same starting to see some dojis the two day the yellow wave that we were once looking for this is why it's a little dangerous to front run why you want to be confident in a direction of a wave we've been eyeing this yellow wave right here looking to see if it would outwardly curve up so we've been keeping our eye on the daily and whatnot to see what it would do it obviously has kind of rejected and it's coming back down again let's go to the daily daily oh boy divergence divergence coming down we are still very thick in the green you know the price has to go if it goes up the price must come down as well um we have had amazing price action to the upside how much has it been 26 up to here man 37 percent in the past month that's a that's that that's a lot so it's all right to see it go back down that's okay on the 12 hour money flow looks like it's kind of sort of coming down to uh man that would have been nice to get in that short mm. eight hour more of the same six hour more of the same eventually the price must give way <laughs> you know i remember when we were at the top how long <coughs> price was able to diverge when we were at 69,000. In fact, let's go take a look at it. Oops. Yeah, price was able to diverge kind of for some time. Man, when the money flow got to the zero line, that was the mark of, man, what a beautiful, no one's, there is no better money flow indicator out there than market cipher i mean what timing what timing man so it can diverge for a little bit before it really takes a drop let's go to a smaller time frame and see what it looks like on the daily came down by the time it crossed the zero line where was it at zero line man beautiful again right at that zero line it just started to drop a little bit and boom so where is it at now let's go to let's fast forward to the now on the daily money flow is still thick man very thick very thick huh interesting let's go to the six hour okay so that's what it looks like now and let's go back in time clean up clean it up a little bit here because we're looking at a lot of information all right so on the six hour money flow was high as hell came back down to the zero line was kind of weakened and then it eventually gave way huh so i mean just off that it is possible that this maybe was kind of the top for a little while. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying that's possible. If we see this money flow again, kind of repeat the same thing and fiddly fart around, then we kind of know if the, the impending doom is coming. Um, again, I'm not saying that's what I think is going to happen. We're just going to be watching and seeing. The money flow could very well certainly come down into the red, curve back up, and yippee yay yay yippee ki yay It's time to party again. But uh, we don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if that's going to happen, so we're just going off the charts. As of now, I don't know. We'll see. We had a darn good time, though. Had a great time on this come up. And I will say this. If impending doom is coming... And we have a big 
you know, bear run coming. If this was it, then we're gonna we're gonna have a good time off that too. Hopefully. The holidays are here, so there's a lot of like kind of empty days. Finance can be weird. Manipulation can certainly be increased. And I tell you what, we really have seen that in the volatility. It's kind of like the before the wheels fall off on a car, what do they do? They they wiggle. You know, if you have if this is your tire, right? Before a tire, here's your car. Before a tire falls off, it starts to wiggle. It goes boom. And then it falls. Um Th th this was some tires wiggling. And uh, I remember I thought of that analogy. I was like, man, it's wiggling. Could it lead to a pump? You know, tire do tires wiggle before a pump sometimes? Sometimes, but I feel like uh, it's kind of, more, it, it's, it's, more often the other way that when you see this like crazy volatility like da 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 at the top it bursts down when it gets rejected so I don't know I guess I'm a little more kind of uh bearish again well I wouldn't say I'm anything I'm just I'm just cautious uh cautious of you know the long train that we've been on we've been long and hard long and good glad i took profits on that trade um in volatile times there's a lot of regret there's a lot of opportunity that you are gonna miss and uh you just have to learn to deal with that you know and be thankful for what you've taken let's look at the smaller time frames here we are dipping into the red let's pull up cypher a again here beautiful blood diamond how far down has this come 37 5 8 37 5 6 okay a good nickel Ooh, look at this 15 minute yellow wave here nice curvature coming down maybe might see another little dip again here maybe into the 35s yeah i don't know i'm not so quick to long bottoms right now i am not so quick to long these bottoms mm, this looks nice though Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm a little more cautious now. I think it's time to be a little more cautious. That is a little tantalizing, but you know what? I tell you what, look what we have. We have a very capped RSI, which again, you know, the price can come up here. This is this is nice basic strategy. A lot of green dots, momentum wave coming up, money flow coming up our size coming up but they're gapped so if i am gonna long this i'm not looking to be married to it a gapped rsi means most of the time that the price can go there but it won't stay there so any price action that comes up i'd be looking to take profits that's what had us worried this whole time to have a repeat of the 2019 and it was when the RSIs, oh shit, okay, let's see here. When the RSIs came together here, it dumped, it went red, came back green, and took off. You know, I'm looking at this, looking at this. The difference here is the RSIs. Let me go to the two week again here because it was the two week that man this two week was was what was having us think like man is the worst over because this money flow looks nice let's 
but here VWAP came down, the yellow wave came down and never actually fully came down. So, I don't know, I guess hopefully we see that again. Monday the 14th, September 20th is when they're expecting. Monday the 4th. There's a way to go back just by typing it in, but oh man, I don't remember. There we go. September twentieth, Monday the fourteenth, September twentieth. How big of a drop did we have? We went down fifteen percent. Okay. So on that dual weekly chart, that tiny little candle was a 15% pullback. Then it continued to go on to bull runs. So, you know, uh, what would it be? Okay, so let's go back to current highs. Current highs, current highs. Oops, oh, that's stupid. Okay, so what would a 15% drop be? Ooh. 31,007, 31,000, 7, 30, so, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, I'm just kind of putting it all, I'm just taking the information, putting it all in my head, and be thankful for this bread, so I think that's, uh, that's the mindset I'm in, I'm thankful for this bread, uh, it's been a good few months of chopping this wood. Windows of opportunity open and they close. And you don't want to have your neck out the window when the window closes. So, is this window closing for the bulls? Perhaps. Perhaps. So I guess that's my analysis. Am I entering a position right now? No. If I was going to maybe off this four minute, maybe, maybe, I mean, I don't know. There might be something here, a little something. This is risky. This is this is kind of risky. <sighs> Sometimes, as a trader, it's hard. The hardest thing is not being in a trade. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I see this VR coming down. Man, part of me wants to short, too. I don't know. I'm kind of cross-actioned. Tough acting, can act it. Either way, there might not be much on the stick. There might not be much meat on the stick. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm glad I closed my trade. 50K. That's good enough. I know I was setting my, you know, whenever I set myself for big goals in trading, it, it, it rarely works. I knew when I uttered those words, too, it was probably a curse. When it comes to trading, you got to be a little particular with your goal setting. You have to be a little more survival and not so much. I want to make X amount on this trade because it's not up to you. It doesn't matter how much you want it. Uh, you're not against yourself. You're against the market, you know, and the market doesn't give two shits about you. So uh, I think that's about it. I just want to say happy holidays. I appreciate you guys being here even the pencil necks um again the black friday sale it is secretly active if you use the coupon code black cypher 35 all one word b-l-a-c-k 
C-I-P-H-E-R 3-5. It's working now. The graphics will officially go up on Black Friday through Cyber Cypher Monday. Until then, thank you for listening. God bless you. And be careful out there. These holidays can be a little choppy. Don't get chopped out. This is a time where a lot of people chase losses. Gambling addicts are terrible right now. Uh, scammers are out there right now. So just cover your ass, hang out with your family, and uh, stay tuned for next time. Peace.